comes the champion. Here comes Nafi Tiam to win the gold medal in the 800 meters. Alfogel already getting out there strongly, filled up quite a gap. Greta Daiko going well as well in lane seven, but Alfogel really showing her strength. Then Katarina Tacheva, I think, following on behind her, the Czech, but what a performance, very close to her personal best there. 12.97 for Luisa Alfogel, and she will be very delighted with that. Yes, Kacheva gets it. In an equal season's best for the Czech, 13-29. Caroline Schaefer in third there, 13-33, and that is slightly down on her season's best. Someone else will be very pleased is Katarina Johnson Thompson to have run 13.34, uh, easily a season best and close to her personal best. Rafi Tiam just left a little bit further back, but nothing really much to worry about. Um, she's lost a little ground, but we, this is probably one of her weakest events, so Absolutely. don't expect too much. But uh, she left on the screen there, she's probably further back than she would like. Absolutely, but I mean, next up, of course, is the high jump and the likes of Rafi Tiam and Katarina Johnson Thompson, of course, both very dominant in that event, performed an incredible eye jump in Rio. Nafi Tiam, as you mentioned, or both of or, uh, Katarina and Nafi both could be medal contenders in the individual high jump. And there we see the two Germans very happy indeed. Maybe spurred on a little last night by Artur Abela when he won that title. Now then, Nafi Tia, 191 in the high jump. This is getting top class standard now. As these uh, two really good high jumpers contest this event. Tia. Same again. I'm still not 100% comfortable with that run up, but he, she is so effective taking off. There's just so much spring and height. <laughs> Tiam, third and final put in the shot put competition, is uh, moved into the lead overall. It's the best she's done so far at 14.82. Now a chance to add yet more valuable points. Oh yes! Well, that's well over 15 metres. Tremendous putting by the Belgian. She may have been a little down on her first two events, but she's right back at her best in the shot. Now, personal best coming here was 15 metres 29. Can't be far away, but just a little short. An excellent campaign in the third of the events. 15.35, it is indeed a new personal best. Side in lane four, 
But uh, Sadako is off quicker than her. And also bad Lecce on the outside. A strong run by Kachiba to check the cover. Kachiba coming in for home straight. Sadako running strongly. Tian being left some way back on that as we've got uh, Badlech and Kachiba. Badlech and Kachiba fighting out the line between them. And Sadako on the inside got third. Tian some way back. She'll lose quite a lot of ground there because the winning time 24 20 for Badlech. Not all that special. Indeed, uh, that is uh, not that far off Tian. But Wait to get the TM's time, of course, to, but she did but quite a long way back here. A little bit disappointing for the Belgian world champion. She will still be uh, the favourite to win the title, of course, but uh, something like seven, six or seven metres down on the leaders. Responding to the challenge, she's a great competitor. And the two of them are really on par so far. If you look in terms of how they are pushing each other on, we can see it in the high jump. As you said, both slightly under what both of them can do, but they are good at pushing each other on. Yes, both did 191 in the high jump. The major event of the first day, of course, with Johnson Thompson well ahead in the 200. And TM throws 660. Big chance then for Nafi Tiam to increase her lead in the heptathlon. Her third and final throw in the javelin. Yes. Oh, she seems to like it. No oh, wonder she likes it. Wow. That could well be a gold medal winning throw. We've got the 800 to come and we know she's not so brilliant at that, but that was brilliant. The Belgian Just hit that perfect. Commentators around us all jumping up from their seats. What a throw. 57.91. Well, now that's worth 1,014 points and takes her up to 5984. 192 points now ahead of Johnson Thompson. A big difference has been made in rounds two and three of the Javelin. Kachiva in second place. Tian back in, uh, what is it, seventh. 63.75 by Johnson Thompson. So on schedule for a very decent performance here in this uh, heptathlon. 800 meters, which she's got a best of 207.64. So good to see that she's really back in top form. She may not win the gold medal, but she is back having a brilliant season, Commonwealth champion, world indoor champion, Nafi Tiam plodding along. This is not her event, but she's got a huge gap and particularly crucial for that with some brilliant javelin throwing. With her first throw in the javelin, it looked like it had opened the way for Johnson Thompson. Carolyn Schaefer heading for the bronze medal, urged on by the crowd here. Nafi Tiam a long way back. But even so, that gap 
between her and Johnson Thompson, pretty much unbridgeable. But what a very fine run indeed, and a very fine season by Katrina Johnson Thompson, who comes through and she'll take the silver medal. And Schaefer also, following Kachava, is finishing very strongly. She will take the silver medal. And here comes the champion. Here comes Nafi Tiam to win the gold medal in the 800 meters. Johnson Thompson's time, 2.09.84. And it really is good to see that she was up to par and beyond it in some events, and all events, even her shot and disc and javelin throwers were by higher lights useful performances very very tired set of women of course Schaefer that lying there so too Nafi Tiam Tiam will know that she's done enough here I haven't got the time yet but uh, we knew the gap was unbridgeable there we have the times coming through now slowly on the screen actually they're going too fast <laughs> We've got them here in front of us, 2.09.84 for Katarina Johnson-Thompson, 2.11.29 for Priner, 2.11.87 for Dardic, Schaefer 2.14.65, Katschewa 2.14.91, Rookstuhl 2.15.13 and Nafi Tiam 2.19.35. Uh, so that's not exactly great 800 meter running, but look at that, there's the result. 6.816 for Tiam, 6.759 for Johnson Thompson, a personal best, 6.602 for Schaefer, a national record for Austria with Dadic overtaking uh, Vetter in that final event. Very high standard of performance there with six women at 6,400 points or more. Tribute to the excellent conditions, tribute to some great competition. And for a European final, I mean, this could as well have been a World Championship final. The standard of this competition, outstanding. And we could just see Nafi Tiam being handed the crown that uh, Arthur Abelo also got in the decathlon. So really the multi eventers the kings and queens of this European Championships, and they deserve it. The result of the heptaston, the gold medal going to Nafi Tiam at 6,816 points. Katarina Johnson-Thompson taking the silver and Catherine Schaefer taking the bronze. As we pan down the full list, six women over 6,400, 13, 14 was it, over 6,000.